and before Kanye's anti-Semitic comments, which are completely bollocks, and he's just a, he's an egotistical person. I'm not digging him here, but he's medically, you know, he's not there. Um, and um, I, I differ on that. You... <laughs> just because, obviously, obviously, in light of recent comments, um, I don't think. But I, in light of recent comments and um, of which were vile and abhorrent, um, I don't think that makes him a mentally ill person. He, I think he's super mentally ill. He believes that like there's a cabal of Jews. Tr- I mean, how can you not be meant? I don't believe there's a cabal of Jews, but I believe there's a cabal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Take, make it out what you want, but 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 this is this is one of the fundamental problems I have with conspiracy theories. It does always boil down to anti-Semitism, and it's. it's I don't know about that. I mean, it, when you go back to um, kind of almost every single conspiracy theory, it always goes back. And I'm not saying that there's not loads of credible conspiracy theories. Don't get me wrong. So, a good example: 9/11, right? I think there's some for. I won't get into it because we're on YouTube here, but there was some definitely. 9/11 was an inside job, YouTube. <laughs> Fucking take that one down. <laughs> right, I'll have to beat that bit, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not risking another strike. I'm no, on the fucking up, brink yeah. here. A full episode, obviously, on Spotify. No no cuts there, yeah, no matter yeah, what yeah. you say. Yeah, big um, up Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Spotify. Um, but you, when you look at the 9-11 conspiracy theory, it actually seeps down to... And I had a conversation with a girl the other day. It seeps down to that there were, those people were Jews who did it. I mean, that that depends on how far you want to go down the rabbit hole. Um, well, let's take this conspiracy well it's not conspiracy theory right. anymore but it was when I was talking about it yeah let's talk- the Jeffrey Epstein private island right that had nothing to do with the Jews that's to do with a yeah that's to do with a a prosecuted sex offender that mm. is bringing that is soliciting young men and women young children to high up powerful elites including presidents um, who are Christian members of the royal family yeah. who are Christian I'm just saying we're using the same principles as Jews when people talk about Jews being a relevant But factor. I feel like because they're a pedo doesn't have anything to do with their religion. But if it, it, but it no 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 but if imagine all those people are Jewish, you really think people wouldn't point it out? No. I think they'd be on it like I'd be like, oh, I they're all think, Jewish. Whoa. I don't think they would. I really? think I think they'd be like, Oh my god, they're pedos. They deserve to be dark. They, they deserve to, they deserve death. Or at least a prison sentence. No, no. People would instantly... It's like... There's like a few bankers who are Jewish and people think all bankers are Jewish. Personally, from what you're saying, I think you have this narrow mindset that when something happens and they happen to be Jewish, then everyone's like... Everyone brings out their fucking swastikas and they're like, oh yeah, we want the Jews in prison and stuff like that. I really don't think it's like that. No, people don't do that, but part of them, without knowing, a lot of people do seep into tonight's propaganda because why is being jewish a relevant factor it's never it's not a relevant but factor. it is but but people say it is people always say it is unless but who are these people that say like it you is? like you, you you were talking about what? you were talking about you know the media bankers whatever about how they pretend to be jewish but my point is even if that was the case why is being jewish even a relevant factor to it because like i said if you were to do something or be in the line of fire, let's just take um, going to Jeffrey Epstein's island and sexually abusing children, then... <laughs> those people in high high positions of power that have l- a lot of power and a lot of control over what happens would be calling you out. It would be... Yeah. Yeah, I can't lie, I can't lie. I... Oh, I'll shake your hand for that one. You, made, you have made, you made me that rethink. You made, on the no, no, you made me rethink about that. You know what I mean? Um, well, rate, rate the but, honesty. No, I still believe that they're not they're not Jews, but they mm. hide behind it. But but what I was trying to say was that if you were to call someone out for those stuff, then they could hide behind it and say that's anti-Semitic. But in that scenario, which I just uh, proclaimed. Mm. Would, wouldn't wouldn't stand up in a court of court of law anyway because it doesn't matter if you're a Jew or a Christian you still sexually abuse a child so my my opinions and beliefs don't don't equate to the argument I'm trying to make so for that I will hold my hands up and go you know what I'm probably wrong I am probably wrong but 
for me personally, I can I'll hold my hands up and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know. Well, I mean? fair play, rate the honesty, change. That's what the podcast is about. No, growing you know your opinion. I mean? Yeah, like <laughs> it's just it's better to hold your hands up and go. Look, yeah, maybe I was wrong. Mm. Maybe my beliefs in that segment of the podcast was wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, and fair play. If it was, play. then I'll hold my hands up and I'll educate myself better further to not make those mistakes again. Well, massive respect there, one hundred percent. Um. So I want to talk a bit about the actual cancellation <laughs> and what's actually happened. So he's been, yeah, so as I said at the start, he's been banned by Adidas, Valencia, come on, uh, JP Bank and just and Yeezys. And interesting fact, which Cal brought up, he's actually increased in sales, hasn't he? I th- from what I was, Let me read, actually just from what I, was I don't think it's yeah. factually that he's increased in sales, but because people were buying Yeezys, not because they were... Um, because they were Adidas shoes, they were buying Yeezys because they were Kanye's own brand. So now you've got a now you've got uh f- hundreds of thousands or even millions of pairs of shoes that are Adidas and Yeezy collabs. Now Adidas have um like ripped the contract up between Kanye West. Those shoes will skyrocket at a different uh, at a higher price because um those shoes won't be created anymore. From what I've been reading online about from the comments that i read mm. some people were happy that this happened oh because shit. that means that their shoes and all their stock goes up in price oh, because it's bastards. not it's not gonna it's, those those collabs and those shoes are never going to come back into stock that onto the shelves. crazy that's crazy so according to bloomberg uk yeezy's prices rise on bet collectors overlook yeezy's downfall Yeezy shoe brand isn't suffering so far, but experts say overall say sales like eventually will. But right now, anyway, it seems like they're actually like doing doing insane, which is mind blowing. I think they that like like that Bloomberg um, blog says. I feel like they will eventually drop because when you're selling your shoes, collabing with Adidas, and they're selling them in their Adidas stores, it's open to a wider popular wider population of the general public mm. whereas if you just sell in your your shoes and your own brand through social media and your own company you're only don't get me wrong you'll be generating millions and millions of dollars from from millions and millions of fans but it won't be as wide as the adidas mm. collab so and doesn't have the brand image as well exactly so that the sales will drop but it's because the wider public aren't being sort of exposed to the um the advertising of Yeezys as much because it's not an Adidas collab mm. but mo- like, like I said most people that were buying Yeezys weren't buying it because they were Adidas they were buying it because it was a Yeezys own product mm. yeah I I would never buy Yeezys but yeah neither would I, I but yeah I don't see the I don't see the I don't I, personally mm. I don't see they the, look comfy I'll give them that they look I, comfy yeah I don't see the the whole oh my god I got Yeezys on mm. but that's just me personally mm. I mean yeah, I mean, they are really popular, but about his cancellation, what are your thoughts on the actual cancellation of everyone trying to cancel him? It's like I said before, you can't cancel a man that can't be cancelled, you know what I mean? He's. But what do you think about the company who's doing that? Do you think it's real? Don't forget to follow the podcast on Spotify by simply typing in the Radical English Gentleman, going over to it, clicking that follow button and giving it the five stars if you do enjoy it. It helps more than you can imagine. Anyway, love you all and peace.